So I look like every season except fall today. I have my spring flowers, my like winter nails, my bright summery lip, and my Christmas mug. I had good intentions though. I did actually start out with like plaid and like a like a burgundy -y lip and then I painted my nails. So the color I chose is called Virgin Snow, and so when I picked it out last night, I'm like, ooh, it'll be like a pretty like gray white. And it turned out a lot more purple on my nails than I was anticipating. I feel like I'm delaying. I'm procrastinating. Gonna drink my tea. Oh, it is a fall tea, actually. Huh? See? All seasons. Hello, everyone. I am here today with a highly, highly requested video all around styling the bump. Bump with a P. I always say it, I'm like, sounds like I'm saying styling the bum, which is not what today's video is about. I'm sure there are videos out there though, you could probably check it. I struggled so much in finding clothes with my first pregnancy, and I would just pick up stuff and I'd be like, I don't know, these fit right? And I just basically ended up in leggings and various tops and just trying to find things that fit. By the end of it, I was just wearing Chris's t-shirts and calling it a day. So this time around, I really wanted to find some cute outfits and things that I could share with you guys that are super comfortable. They're gonna fit you during pregnancy and also post-pregnancy. And um, hopefully I can give you guys some tips and tricks and um, things that I have learned from my first pregnancy and things that I've taken into my second pregnancy that have helped a lot. Oh, and I should also say that if you're looking for like mom and baby related stuff, it's all on my Rachel Loves Life channel. I'll put a link in the info bar below in case you guys are interested, but it's all like new mom tips and feeding toddlers and favorite baby and toddler products. All that kind of stuff is going to be on that channel. So go and check it out and subscribe if you are interested in that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's all I had to say today. Let's get into this. So first let's talk early pregnancy. That's the time when you're typically not telling a lot of people that you're pregnant yet. You're not really showing that much yet. You basically just look like you ate a giant dinner. And so you want things that are gonna be super comfortable and don't necessarily show the fact that you're pregnant yet. So I highly recommend looking for a nice loose fitting but still sort of tailored dress. Midi dresses are great for fall if you want like a, a full length maxi dress. Those are also super, super gorgeous. I really like this dress because it is a little bit more of a loose fitting dress but it does hug your arms a little bit more so it doesn't feel like you're wearing just a giant sack. And it fits me now and it fit me back then so it's great for that purpose and I absolutely love it. My second tip is investing in good pregnancy pants. Now originally when I first was pregnant with Julia I just picked up a pair from my local store. I had um, maternity uh, leggings and then I also had maternity jeggings and the jeggings that I picked up I was like well Guess this is it then. They just had like a giant thick band to them. They didn't fit quite perfectly. They were a little bit short, but I was like, there are literally no other options here. I don't know what else to buy. Now maternity leggings I wouldn't recommend investing in because I mean, you can get them everywhere and they're relatively cheap and they're good quality for the most part. Quite honestly, I wear a lot of the leggings that I wore pre-pregnancy um, and just sit it underneath the bump, but jeans, or jeggings in particular, I do recommend doing some research if you do like jeggings or, or jeans or anything like that and you do want to wear them. Um, the ones that I have that I absolutely love are by J Brand and they are so ridiculously comfortable. I plan on wearing these after pregnancy and until the end of time. So the difference with these ones, and also I have um, a black pair from Paige uh, that I got back in the summer and they have this like cut out sort of thing of stretchy fabric that creates sort of a V on either side and they still button up in the front like regular jeans do and I just I just find them to be so ridiculously comfortable they don't sag on you they feel like real denim but like stretchy soft denim if you have long legs the J brand ones are great because they're super super long page them they're a little bit shorter but really soft and luxuriously comfortable and like the best feeling denim I've ever had in my entire life. They are pretty pricey, so I will warn you there, but I have a pair of denim, um, just regular denim, and then I have a pair of black denim, and I find that's enough for me, and that's going to last me through all of my pregnancies and post-pregnancy as well, because you don't want to be going straight back into jeans right after you give birth, because that's going to be a sad experience for everyone. I think it took me a good solid four to five months before I fit any of my jeans. Um, so, I mean, you'll be wearing them for a while and I find them personally to be a really great thing to invest in because they're super comfortable, they're gonna last, they're gonna wear really well, and you're gonna feel really good in them too. Next up is button-ups. Button-ups are key, I can't tell you and stress to you enough how awesome they are, in particular for 
post-pregnancy, but they're really, really versatile and great thing to have in your wardrobe while you're also pregnant. So as you guys know, I have quite a lot of them. All about that plaid. Plaid life though. So there's a couple of things that I would look for when you're looking for button-ups. Number one, make sure it's a little bit longer. So for example, the rail ones, while they are a little bit more on the pricey side, they tend to be a little bit longer. I have a couple from Garage which are super comfortable and I love them. They're a little bit longer too, which is nice because remember, as your bump grows, your shirt's gonna like ride up a little bit and you don't want to be wearing sort of like a, like a mid-drift button-up thing. I feel like that wouldn't be very flattering for a pregnant belly. And then you can wear it obviously all the way done up until you can no longer wear it done up. But once your belly gets too big, then you can wear it open with like a nice white shirt or a black shirt underneath, or you can tie it underneath the bump as well with a dress. I really like that look and I think it looks really, really cute. But where they're really actually quite useful is post-pregnancy when you're nursing because they're button up, right? So they're just easy, easy, easy to use. And it's great when you have like a really sad baby that just wants to nurse like quick time. For dresses, I highly, highly recommend wrap dresses. Again, it's one of those things that's going to work really, really well during pregnancy because it kind of ties up underneath the bust but above the bump, so it's very flattering and it sort of um, breaks up the whole like, I have a lot of stuff going on in the front half of me. And it's also great post if you're nursing because again, just really easy access and much easier to kind of do up and undo on the go. I love the pattern on this one. I think it's gorgeous. It kind of reminds me, it's a little bit like DVF a little bit, you know, with the black and white pattern. I don't know. I really like this dress. These are really flattering whether or not you're pregnant and I think they're really gorgeous and stretchy and easy to wear and just super, super great. Next, plan ahead with lots of layers. I don't know about you, but when I'm pregnant, which I currently am. I tend to get hot and cold very easily. So like one minute I'm like boiling lava hot and then the next minute I'm so freaking cold. And so having lots of layers and lots of different cardigans and things that you can like whip on and off is like super, super key. I really like the throws that I've been wearing a lot of lately. You guys have been seeing in my Instagram. I had one from Dynamite. I love, love that one. This one that I'm wearing is from Topshop. It is not maternity at all, obviously, because you can wear a throw or not. It does not matter at all what size you are. These are great because they're going to act like an extra layer of warmth if you get cold. They also act as sort of like a nice nursing cover if you're, you know, going out and you need to nurse in public or anything like that. And they are just super versatile and easy to wear. Jackets are also obviously a really good fit. This is one that I got from a store uh, downtown called Annie and Wren um, in downtown Toronto. Such a cute shop. If you're ever in Toronto, go and check them out. Just adorable. They have maternity and non-maternity there. And I think they're also starting up a an online store as well. So if I can find it, I'll link it in the info bar below in case you're interested. But this jacket I've been living in for fall. It is so comfortable. It's got lots of extra fabric in the front too. So it covers my bump nicely, but it's still like super casual and I, it's something I can wear even post-pregnancy. So love that. And I also have like a collection of like 700 cardigans in my closet over there. Because I mean cardigans though, staple. Just a classic staple. And then last but not least, embracing the bump. I think that is super, super key. I love form-fitting clothes on pregnant women. I think it just looks gorgeous and just accentuates all the curves and just looks beautiful. This one is from Time Maternity and it is possibly one of the most comfortable dresses I have ever purchased. And it's just so versatile. I can wear it dressed up or dressed down. And look for dresses that have um, some of the rouging on the side because it's gonna add for a lot more flexibility as you grow and shrink and it's just super flattering you want to embrace the bump you have this beautiful little being growing inside of you and I think that it's something that we should all be celebrating so um, that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these type of lookbook esque kind of videos let me know in the comments below what your favorite outfit was and if you are pregnant or were pregnant at some point and have a favorite article of clothing that you absolutely love and recommend leave that in the comment section below um, because I know myself and other mamas out there would really appreciate that that and um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah.